Hello, everybody. I want to invite my man, VEC. So, we to know more. We are our Latin generation. Hello, sir. VEC. How far is you? Oh, my Miami. Oh, you do know? So, we let you have to learn hand in hand with the library. Miss Rumoti get in it on scene. I should have come for me, lady. Yeah. Miss, I don't talk better. Last this year, did I was young, Bommy? Monk boy. Okay, Lapi Ajilawa. So, Padim in the Nya Amuludu. So, Moon, my best in life. Amuludu, 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 Let's give them some background or why we are doing this live. How let me uh, mute this uh, DSTV or reduce the volume. Thanks. Mm -hmm. The reason why we are doing this live so is I made because... Now <laughs> give them background. <coughs> okay. I post that today. Mm -hmm. You know, and the post really now about the journalism standards in Nigeria. Okay. You know, how journalists only want to hear what they want to hear from who they want to hear it from. Because that is not want to talk. But she was, he was pressing him to talk. But, but you know, I want, I said, uh, she already wanted to talk on the other channel. Mm -hmm. The press people say you should not talk. You understand? Now, Tinubu, when he did not talk, we have all agreed that not talking is bad because everybody jump on him. In fact, for him not, be able to, not being able to talk for himself and allow other people to talk for him, other people jump on his ass for that. You know? Mm -hmm. yes. So there was a post about insecurity in the country. Yeah, there was an interview about insecurity, basically. Is what they were yeah. talking about insecurity. So basically, the arguments that I have gotten are three pronged mm -hmm. arguments. Basically, there are those that are saying it's not wise to divulge uh, security tactics in public. Mm -hmm. That's one. <clears throat> those that are saying that. that to raise tactics of uh, employing mercenaries is wrong. Mm. That mercenaries cannot do the job and mercenaries are not a good idea because they are outsiders or whatever. I, I'm not seeing anybody fit to carry the debate with. You know, because you know my own rule for social media. I hardly talk to people I don't know. If I don't know you, I don't talk to you on social media. I hardly do it. <laughs> Except you make, except you make an interesting point. It's true. <clears throat> except you make an interesting point. Yeah. You you made a point. You know. You made a point. So I wanted you to um and uh, break down that point. I mean, we can have a little discussion about, you know, how we differ on this on this issue. Mm. All right. Um. The point I made, I remember having this conversation um, <clears throat> earlier, and I said to you that I feel strongly we build our stance, our arguments, and our way forward based on ancestral wisdom, um, especially if it has been proven to be, you know, beneficial and wise. <clears throat> so then I advanced from here to say my statement in that um, post that you made was that see or when you about see they quit 
ko le bere fun to pa baba re benny um, you have to benny position to be able to act in position right especially if the position benny. you are assuming has been infiltrated and sabotaged a lot <clears throat> i say this coming from the barrack side of things now that there is alleged um again one thing what i'm doing now is what i think shore should learn there are certain um, social media tools. Let's talk. Some of our viewers are not Yoruba. They want you to translate that proverb. Okay, so the translation of that pro pro proverb, um, to my understanding, would be for the one whose father was murdered, murdered to be able, he has to be in possession of the weapon. That will make him get answers, right? So, basically, so literally, literally, basically, the proverb says, the proverb says, if your hand cannot grasp the hilt of a cutlass or a sword, mm -hmm. if your hand, if a child's hand is not big enough to grasp the hilt of a sword, mm -hmm. then he, he should not ask about the death of his father. Yes, or the death that killed his father. Now. We have to break that down properly because the the idea of the, a death killing your father is more is more than the death of your father. You know what I mean? Yes, um, of course. So, so that said, I don't expect anybody, especially if we see it in the sense that there is a high probability, as alleged, that there are people in government that overlook intel and information as regards insurgents. Now, do I have full proof or facts to this? No. But it's been said and I have confidentiality with one or two men that will give me instances of how things have happened when they were out on patrol. Now, that, that said, you can't expect somebody coming in who wants to win to come and tell you I am going to this is the person that's causing it. This because they're all still in power. And we totally understand that this power and the corruption that is surrounded around this power has been spread to the point whereby not if it's not just the people um, contesting for office alone. Even us that we are talking on a daily, we are seeing that amidst us, there are people who have been compromised. Hence, we cannot okay, now, divulge totally no, our intentions no. until our what it take with that. Okay. Even, are you saying that once the person assumes power, I have two things to counter this, your argument, but the first one I'll say is this. Are you saying that once the person assumes power, those saboteurs will automatically change no. and stop no. the saboteurs? No. Will you still have to share those security information with those same core saboteurs that will still be in the army and the system while the person wins power? Um, the first, the first, um, your first skeptic point about my stance, which is when he gets into power, whether I, no, it's not in getting into power and aligning with the people that are saboteurs. No, 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 first, no, no, you don't even you don't analyze and align with the saboteurs. Mm -hmm. The fact that the person gets into power does that remove the saboteurs from the system? No, it doesn't. So, but it, it gives do you agree that once the person wait, wait, do you agree that once the person gets into power? He doesn't have time to fight both the saboteurs and the enemy. He does. That he has to start straight fighting the enemy, the no, open I, enemy. No, I don't... Because this is one thing that we're doing here, right? Our fighting of the enemy is a must. Our ways of fighting the enemy is also... I'm important. saying to you that this issue of insecurity in Nigeria, do you think any president that wins power, any government administration that enters, would have the time to say, okay, let me ignore Boko Haram and first clear the saboteurs within the army before I no, face Boko Haram. Facing Boko Haram is facing both Boko Haram and the saboteurs. So, exactly. So whatever plans this person has, the saboteurs will still know. Whether the person says it now or he says it when he's well, in power. Well, because you know, we cannot jump into the future of what happened then. We can only speculatively no, say. No, we can be yes, logical. But, 
We can logically speaking, logic we can't sell tomorrow. Logically speaking, I'm saying to you, yes. If this person enters power, he has to give command and a strategy to the military high command to execute against the insurgents of this country. Are you saying that he will not divulge the everybody he will divulge those plans to will be his ally? Well, that, that is why you pick your cabinet of people, number one, right? This is not cabinet matter. This is now in the military high yeah. command. Now, ca cabinet one. Career military command, men military that military. have been in the military before the president even thought of joining politics. They are now generals in the army. Those people running our military. Yes. The military high command of Nigeria, the chief of army staff, the chief of naval staff, yes. all their uh, aides and all their um, uh, admins. They are definitely saboteurs. So yes. when are we asking politicians fighting insurgency and national security has to do with your freedom? What if he wants to say, I will have the power to investigate everybody's phone call? I want to give the military the right to enter people's homes without warrants. Will you not be interested to know those plans? before he becomes, before that person gets power, forget the policy he has with the military. Like in America now, the Americans made a big mistake after 9-11. They allowed their government to pass the Patriot Act. The Patriot Act today gives the American government the right to tap all calls without warrants. Exactly. Now they are fighting this in their country. They are saying the government is over it, but they are the ones that have made the mistake of allowing Bush originally to have the power to create homeland security. So what if your candidate's plan is to create a Nigerian version of the homeland security that will greatly in reduce your own personal freedoms and rights? Wouldn't that be a plan you would want to know before the person gets into power? I, it's, I, I would be interested in knowing that, but it doesn't mean he has to tell me exactly what his tactic is. Especially he doesn't have to tell you exactly how, but he has to tell you his plan. Okay, well, I've heard you. See, I've heard you. Your father was, a, you know, yes. your father, funny enough, was a was a security agent in this country, top guy. Yes. My cousin, my first cousin, was a military was a military uh, general as well who fought Boko Haram in Baja. I don't know if anybody knows the story of General Ransom Kuti, who is Uncle Berko's first and only son, okay. who was dismissed in the Nigerian army. Why was he dismissed in the Nigerian army? Because he refused to mortgage the lives of the 2,500 men that were under him. Okay. They did not give them any military weapons. They did not give them weapons. They did not give them uh, I mean, they, get, they gave them weapons but no ammunition. The Boko Haram that was attacking his base were 10 times better armed than the men behind him. And the high command of the Nigerian military was telling him to stand his ground. That means to waste the lives of those 2,500 men to prove a point yeah. when he knew they could never hold that base. That all he would do is prove a point. Some, um, do some symbolism of defense while people are actually dead. You understand? I get you. So are you saying that we don't want to know those plans beforehand? And also when we use the parable, uh, when a child... They, they demoted my cousin. Not only did they demote him, they expelled him from the army. He's expelled. They discharged him without honors for making that decision. You know, you can Google this. You know, oh, anyway. I put to my papa self now. <laughs> anyway. <coughs> yeah. The point I'm trying to make also is when you say when a child doesn't know the dead that kills his father, his father, this sort makes it his private issue. We cannot bring our people saying in private context into public issue. I decided when you are vying for public office, that's why it's called public you know, office. Decided, There's nothing wait, private wait, about wait, public wait, office. Wait, Obama wait. is asked every day, every leader in the world that is facing insurgency or terrorism is asked every day about their plans um, to fight. These people the are security. not leaders already, they are just aspirants to lead. And those are that no. comes a lot of things that you have to consider. Um, let me you say your uncle, um, General Beck, um, Uncle Beckos, um brother, right? No. That he had it. Me, my papa, she be now our press matter. Naimi and Tafabala.
logo son meat. I be you don't forget. I remember now. Now, Papa, my Papa get matter. <laughs> it's something similar along the lines of wanting to do your duty and not wanting um like not to apply favor, right? But again, I feel you. Uh -huh. I know your story now. I know yes. the story, bro. It's again, the right to to because I am a Yoruba man through and through. If it is true that Africa must be liberated, Africa must be liberated by remember that verse. By using African means to save African means. You know what African means? The cradle. The, the only way to save Africa is use African means. And how can you use African means? It's using African thought. So if I apply Titewe Ekuida to, to the situation, it's because I am a Yoruba man in my thinking as well. And that is how those are places I run to. If we are not going to call America to come and help us, we are going to go to our ancestry that wasn't like this. So if you want to if you want to act like a Yoruba man, right? Yes. What you have to do is okay. What is the relationship between Yoruba leadership, traditional leadership, and Yoruba people? Uh, is the Yoruba, Yoruba traditional leadership allowed to withhold information from the Yoruba people? Bro, the understanding of what it means to be a Yoruba leader is not even obviously. It, I'm telling you, in tradition, yes, Yoruba leaders cannot withhold information from Yoruba people. That's why every morning, kere kere obodoshele. Eh, but in fast, your body does not the allow you must to let everybody. If you are saying, you no, know, you are saying you must look at it from your body tradition. I'm saying let's look at it holistically, not only from the point of view of one parable. Wait, I'm coming. At one of my dogs decreased for outside here. Give me a second. Kwame! <laughs> Ukrumani! <laughs> How do you name your dog Kwame? Eh? How you name your dog Kwame? Nkrumana. Tell an idea. I get Che Guevara. I get Kwame Nkrumana. Yes, we get Nina Simone. We get James Brown. Well, she just she she Guevara, but she don't just she Nina Simone. Bye. Oh no! Oh my ni. We want to be Kwame Nkrumana. Good. Oh. <laughs> now, as I was saying, yeah. In public space, that's why it's called public. The word public, yeah, mm -hmm. underline the word public. Yeah. The yeah. word public means open to scrutiny, open to everyone, open to see. Nothing, nothing locked. If you are vying for public office, you as in I've not seen it before. That is only in Nigeria we can excuse this fact because of our lack of political education. Brother, go and check YouTube. Look at American presidential debates. Look at British presidential debates, French presidential debates, any presidential debate where journalists are talking to people in power. They must ask them their plans for security. Now, divulging your policy hmm, is different from divulging your plans. You must have a policy towards national security that you will be basing your plans upon. Do you understand me? There will be a policy that you'll be basing your plans upon. That policy you must share to the people because that is the ideas. That is how we will know, okay, this guy knows what he wants to do. So now, how do you want to execute that policy? Is the plan you will keep secret? Is it things that can be classified? Is the details you can classify? But your policy cannot. Now, secondly, people are talking that Showore made a mistake by saying uh, uh, that mercenaries, and you said mercenaries, Nigerian army is capable. Brothers and, uh, my brother, Nigerian army is not capable of handling Boko Haram. Okay. I can tell you my full chest. I have to see. I have so friends in the army. Yes. I've had a cousin that was a general. I see how fresh the army is today, say. Boko Haram is not an internal affair. Boko Haram is also an external affair. What many Nigerians don't know is that many Sunni Arabic countries are sponsoring these guys with men and weapons. Do you understand what I'm saying? Men and weapons are falling in. 
Nigerian soldiers, how many are they? Will the Nigerian uh, elite agree to employ? How many soldiers do you think Nigeria has? Do you think we have up to a million standing soldiers? I don't. We don't have up to a million standing soldiers in this country. And as um, Russia is fighting Ukraine right now, Ukraine is a small mm -hmm. country. Russia is a giant country. Go and investigate. Go and catch who is doing the work of the fighting. It's mercenaries. They are called the Wagner Group. Go to and investigate America's war in Iraq, America's war in Afghanistan. When you hear that America fights a war in Afghanistan for 20 years and only 2,000 or 3,000 American soldiers died, do you think it's only 2,000, 3,000 people that fought on the side of America that died? Okay. America will employ Afghanistan people as mercenaries. In fact, they were employing people from Senegal. They were paying them 200 and $50 a day. Go and Google this. America used African mercenaries to fight in Iraq. Yeah, but it won't be the first time that they're using African mercenaries to fight wars. It, it's exactly. Mercenaries. So, if Showeda says he's going to bring in mercenaries, that is a viable plan. Whether it's a good plan or not, it's a viable plan. Nobody should now say that, ah, uh, you're bringing outsiders, you know, because these people are driving me uh, crazy. They say uh, you're yeah, bringing yeah, outsiders. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. Let me let but, me let me come in here. Like, which Nigerian matter is outside and not involved in? As me and you are talking on this thing like this, is outside that has made it happen. Uh, wait first, no, so wait first. More, but let's get a headway. First off, um, <laughs> now me or like Raju from they follow you, Shio and Nicola Kukuti, so right. Mm -hmm. It's not. But I I I try to remove the conversation of what people are saying externally when I am talking to another individual. Right, my worry, my Jera is here. <laughs> right, as me, now me, Larry, they follow you, she won't talk. It's not, yes, there will be opinion, yes, there will be, I knew it. Auntie Waki. Hey, my daughter. Hey, say hello. Fine, girl. Hey, you How are you? She says she's fine. So for me, it's um, it's more right. This will say you decide what in America they do. I stopped doing that. I look at what they say. I will do my research. As a matter of fact, I'm done. No more. The amount of things within Nigeria where I never know. Eh? I go like the norm. The amount of things within Africa I never I go like the norm. No more. The amount of suffer where I got suffer to do it by myself. I am willing to suffer it now more than ever because i have seen that since there is no saints anywhere in the world plus the 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 style of government organization that the me and you did press briefing the other time and a press person was trying to say oh the people we are fighting what was my conversation with him my response to him my response was basically we're not fighting anybody we're only standing for what is right if you're against that then that shows who you are because at the end of the day it's driven by love is driven by intention to see better. So I am fighting things based on what I know today, based on what I believe in today, based on my people's reality today, based on Nigerian army today. It's not expectant or juxtapositional, putting it side by side with anything else that exists in any other reality. Yes, that exists. Uh -huh. I say all this to clarify that I wasn't even in any way talking down on what Shorere was saying. Mm -mm. When I say mercenaries, any leader that me I'm looking at too, what about my own opinion? Our home to the point where you can resist and we can tackle who such. But that's my personal opinion. I'm not judging him because he may have a better viable plan than I do. I'm not running for office. I have no intentions to run for office. So it's a different ball game. However, I will say it again that poorly, my understanding Understanding of how to deal with issues partly is Yoruba. I understand in doing English as well. I understand doing global understanding. But in Yoruba understanding, you know, if you never become president, how chief of staff go they answerable to you, whether annual or whether defense in general? So even now when you be um, commander in chief, Naim, then they answerable to you. Abi? But we are not asking you on behalf. But when you are in politics, you are not answering on behalf of the chief of army staff. 
or Jew of Nova Star, or Tish of Nova Star, you are answering on behalf of the people. Mm -hmm. You are answering on behalf of the people. Me, mm -hmm. personally, I want to know why I, I want to know the answer to that question is I want to know how your national security policy is going to affect my personal freedoms. My freedom oh, well, to move. Well, you, then you, you, when, when they make those policies, so we, we must also leave the angle of the people being responsible for the change they want. Everybody must now learn to pay attention. So when they bring up such policies, we then fight it. You know, we have to fight one step but at a time. How can you, but, wait, but how can you fight what you don't know? How can you fight what you don't know? And when it's time to know, we'll fight it. As of now, make we know who we first. Now. But what if you're really having you before you... I mean, if you put somebody in power now, that now has the mm -hmm. power to reduce your personal freedoms... I already put in but we can't, not we can't you validate this. But you can't validate this suggestion because it's not what it is right now. At least we don't know. No, I mean we don't know that. We don't know because I mean sabotage or we don't know because it's now an issue of alternate reality. But the issue we are having here is this: mm -hmm. that the public office people vying for public office do they owe the Nigerian people an explanation of their policy? Yes, and mm -hmm. I will forever say yes. Yes. Yeah, no, no, I agree with you. Silence is not golden here. I agree. Whether not security, yeah, but... whether not finance, so whether not housing, you, know, you have to give us your policy. Yes, Let us know what I we're agree. Expecting. Yes, I agree that you must give us your policy and we must know what we're expecting as, as a leader that we want to come and lead us. But that said, uh, there, there's a time and place for everything. And maybe this is, maybe at that interview, you know, because you're asking press people, Oh my, don't see, they're not, they use people's words against them. See, show we're now. Wait till you talk now. Now you don't see people they talk, but I'm not even analyzing what people are saying. I see what he says. I see what it means. I know what mercenaries are. I know when there is call for mercenary situations in, in any reality. Brother, that. but my that's why you must that's be brave in politics. In politics, you cannot have a hundred percent approval. Not be everybody will accept your ideas. True. But you I'm just need the majority to you just need the majority to see sense in what you are saying. Everybody can never accept your ideas, I, even I, if they're the I, best I, ideas. I'm and I'm and in fact, maybe everybody accepts. We don't want. I don't want. I don't want a political climate in Nigeria where there's somebody that everybody accepts their political ideas. In fact, that is what has gotten us where we are. No, I think because I Nigeria think has got to where accept we are. only one yeah. kind of political. Idea. Yes. It's the line that got us there. To the rich. Everybody doesn't agree. Nigeria only look up to the ideas of the rich. Ah, um, that one another talk. We'll show that one another talk. No, the but that is it. That is the whole issue. Ah, only yeah. one group of people dictate to the rest of Nigerians how Nigerians how Nigeria must be. And she the Nigerians they allow them to dictate to them. Now say you get to it. No, be say I get to it. I get privilege. Omo um, Yami, you are privileged. Yes. You are better because you are. You are Ogume, you are Ogume Kunson. Yeah. Well, you are Ogume Kunson. Do you understand what I'm I saying, think... Sha? I understand, yeah. I get you. Fela can be, Fela is only Fela because he was Fumilayo's son. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. If Fela was any other person's son, he can never become Fela. True, true, true. Yeah, it's clear now. We are in a privileged position. Yes, I agree. And it's only a special human being that will be willing to mortgage that privilege to assist other people that he doesn't even know. Yeah, I agree. Many of the elites in Nigeria are in this same privileged position. But they use it instead to try and enrich themselves. And they're not cherished. Because the information... They feel less privileged exactly. as weapons. Exactly. So, I'm not saying what I'm saying, not knowing my privilege. Yeah, of course. But I'm saying we are using privilege the way it should be used in relationship with our people. Yes, like, like this platform. That's it. So That's nobody can come and tell us as as uh, nobody can come and tell me, you know, that as Nigerians, I mean, I have to believe that whoever wants to govern me must convince me of how he wants to govern me on all aspects. True. Except me myself, I don't believe that I am a human being that can think. I want other people to think for me. Oh. So you want to believe that this person, without letting you know his plan, you know, has already planned the best plan. And this plan is the best plan. You don't even need to hear the plan. You just believe 
but that is you know because it is coming from a rich person. Mm. But rich you see, uh, Shane, Shane, I'll be honest with you. Um, if, before we rectify names, right, we must establish what they are. It is true that our people are being impoverished mentally so bad that if we know where bling bling, we feel no make sense. If we know show the extent to which we are privileged. <laughs> It's just sadly what it is, which is why I would strongly advocate that as long as the creator creates man with the ability to reason, at some point you must jarai, you must break away from the norms that keep you mentally impoverished and start to think for yourself. But based on that, yes, I don't have anything against um show to me what he said there is not bad, you know. And it's, like you said, it's viable. I totally understand it. However, I have different ways of seeing things. And I will not sabotage my own way of thinking simply because somebody else is telling me so. That, and that's the evidence right now, which is how you and I have to easily not agree with certain positions and still move forward with life. It's where we need to get to as Nigeria, as, as, as a people in, as in, in general, rather. So, yes. Um, let anybody who wants to govern the people come out and say exactly what it is. But we also understand the conditions that we are as a people. We understand the level of sabotage that has happened. We know that certain things cannot be said and it will be used against you. Or more, they never even talk plenty. Let me give you an example. Said. Nobody is expecting him to give us the time, the place, the hour of his I mean, just like American politicians who come and tackle CIA directly for their involvement. In How did they do? Openly in the Congress, they do. The CIA director has to come and defend himself yeah, in the Congress. Congress. Now, not when they are aspiring. But it's open. Congress is open. Yeah, but that's but when they are aspiring. When you are aspiring, aspiring you, you go on presidential debate and it, uh, you go on the campaign trail. Yeah. After the campaign, you do a presidential debate. Uh, the presidential where all these questions all of them are asked of you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. Not only for Nigeria, for this, this is what I'm saying. Is this kind of our our uh, ignorance mm, and infantility in politics mm. that allows our okay. politicians to get okay. away. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that allows our politicians to get away without having a presidential debate that we can all view and scrutinize. Well, the pedagogy of the oppressed one, like you are. One, one, can you say, I can't come. Remember, can remember, say, remember our conversation on the pedagogy of the oppressed, right? And as much as a lot of a lot of our people are annoyingly gullible, right? Our approach towards the emancipation of such minds will not come from a tone of harsh critique, even though we must harshly critique it. It must come from the understanding of the situation as we are one in Yes, of course. Yes. But it is what it is. It is our political infantility. Yeah. Disputing what you've said. What you've said. I'm only saying so that, that we deserve, we deserve their the explanation. They must explain that we and we must not scrutinize. How much important you have explanation to people that don't even want to hear the explanation? Someone was even arguing with me that Shebi Dati is just a vice. <laughs> He's not a <laughs> candidate. No, I mean, vice. Go, Go back to 2015. It was Jamie Osiba that did all the interview for Buhari. The vice was the one sharing the ideas. Because if, if you are a team, if the idea is in the, the team. Uh, it's not a team. Yeah, yeah. It's teamwork. Yes, no. Everybody must right. be willing. Everybody must be willing to share the ideas of the team with the nation. Of course. So for me, I always say, in politics, there's no silence that is golden. There's no silence that is golden, especially if you're, if you're on behalf of the people, you must, if you're vying for public office, you must be willing to open yourself to scrutiny and answer all questions put before you. Except maybe there are extra personal questions, like, who, who did you I don't expect any candidate to answer that question. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, I agree. 
idioro la wa ko se pe awon wadi iwadi la se ah wadi iwadi so kini ji to fi doro ni ba ni oro ye gogo la wa wa mi wa fun yo so i'm i'm honest with you right in the scrutiny of our leaders um in our cultural way it is permitted you are allowed to have a voice yes and our leaders don't our our kings never had um, prison high wall and um, fences you know you it is can't me if you are picking fence you feel cry compalas <laughs> you, you that's where you are going that's where you are going yes yes let me say you right. fit that is exactly where you are going yes no. Now, so when I say, as in, if your if your life knows it, if you know that's why your life, you be complete king. See, my boy, I want to be a boss. I don't care. I am you. Can't be you. Or I am you. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't be anyone be king. He must entertain all the people who be king. For you to say you want to govern my life. Yes. Now you say you don't mean to come and tell you. Now let me come tell you. I tell you, say me you can't govern my life. Now you decide. Say this is your calling. Eh, what to govern my life? What you cut out? What you you see? This is why I said that. I resorted to using what I know as our tradition. Something that I know that any of them will compete for office. If they call meeting, not true. If they call meeting for their village with their own uncle. And their grandpapa, now true. I get right. Yeah. Fact. Now dear me, I did. Now dear, I did. Omo, if you be oba, and you be my oba, and I look at me as you, Omo, you are my oba. When I met, um, hey, that's nice. Yummy. When I met, um, Kilorque, I, Abubakar, I tell him, say, you know, say in African context, president means say you be our papa. Meaning, including the impoverished children with the thief, there be your children with the thief. Of course, now. How will you deal with that? Right. I'm not telling you to come and tell me. We're going to send everybody to jail. Can you come? That like that man with the bread and cut for market with the thief in do me. As a light demand, I could see shame in the man's eyes. You know, it's a different thing when person thief because not arm robber. But first, where they see because they want that. that video. Yeah, if you watch all those videos, man. as I say, I'm an old man. That they, even person they slap and they use air for um. Shema tu shere. I don't expect. Yes, I want more. Thank you. I don't expect you to to tell me you are sending that man to jail, or that he's the one that is spoiling the society. Oh no 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 no! You are the father. It is high time we started to see. All our political office holders, as tradition, as the original traditional office holder, more approach them, approach them, approach them. If they don't hear you out, kereo. <laughs> With one thousand soldiers, we protecting the more, perimeter. The impoverished are more than one million. It's not the power of people. unity. Me, I'm buying. I'm telling you that we don't need them. They have said over and over again that they're not our fathers. That they rather be our masters. Thank you. They want us. They, they, they want us to. Yes. They want us to know that yes. they would rather be our masters than our fathers. So I'm done trying to convince them to be our fathers. I want to face them as the enemies that they are, or, and that is the mistake we are making in Nigeria. Will, that many of us think that these men can be rehabilitated. Yes. Even I say, Papa, we get picking outside now. Eh? Uh, the day where the picking fine and come, uh, you know if you go collect restraining order. <laughs> If they do DNA and the show is not picking, could it have well? I want a restraining order from my child. Yala ya. Like like. The child is giving me is giving me stress. Thank you. Give the child away. Now here with the fight now. Now there with the fight. I said now you are my father. I said I agree, but stay away. I am not saying away. Omo, I need. I have daddy issues. I will bring AR fifteen and shoot up. Omo. Shoot up, bro. Rather just go and shoot up, bro. No, shoot you're out. Up. Go to your father's house and shoot it up. No, no, shoot up your school. Shoot up. <laughs> no, daddy, I want to shoot up your house. If you are, I'm a, 
Now, so that is giving now. Don't do that because we don't make anything bad. When I mean, they will buy bullets for your gun. That's that way. You have to say that you have to say that you have to Malo, malo, you can say you know, you know, What is necessary is that you can take restraining order. We as African people, we must take restraining order from these our leaders. No, in your argument, our leaders have taken it from us already. We don't go agree in it. We must no, not they can't drink. take. No, they can't take. They can't take the same order from us because they need us to work in their factories, to drive their cars, take care of their children, teach in their schools, work in their hospital, do yes. their accounts. They can't do all these things by themselves. Now, the <laughs> now we go give them the same order. Now we go give them the same order. The private schools who they teach there, mm. now their children they teach there, be their family members. Oh. The private hospital who they work there, all their firms who they work there. I, now we must work. I just love when I love we tell them to say, Oga, Oga, mm -hmm. we have taken over all these places we walk. Yeah, sure, okay. Do your worst. Yeah. It's not we tell them right? we have taken over all these places we are working when for. Are they do do, when are they doing interview with Jabless? Uh, it sounds crazy, but Bob Marley preached unity. Plenty of people preach unity. Ooh. Jesus did. Mohammed will go, go. But unity, yeah, go, go, no, my jacket, See, I'm you about to seven hundred thousand. About to get ten million. Well, I'm with you. 